Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mo. Today I'm going to be reading Of Jade and Dragons by Amber Chin. I do have the arc and I'm trying to read this early Jan June because it comes out June 18th of this year, 2024. If I do have this out around the release date, I need y'all to blow up the comments with this emoji. The one that's like, Ping. I need y'all to show out in the comments. And if you don't do that, then I just feel like it's fake love and you don't really fuck with me. So I don't really remember what it's about and I'm gonna only talk about like the first sentence of it because I wanna be surprised. And also I'm gonna go in with a prediction. I feel like I'm going to give this four stars minimum. And I'm not gonna put it like a five star pressure on it, but I think this kind of book, I'm gonna give at least four stars. It is 480 pages. Mulan meets Iron Widow, which I've never read Iron Widow, but I love Mulan down. She's like actually my favorite Disney princess movie. And the sterling silk punk fantasy about a girl who must disguise herself as a boy and enter the famed and dangerous Engineers Guild trials to unravel the mystery of her father's murder. And I remember I looked up silk punk so I'm gonna look it up again. So I've heard of steampunk. Okay so it's a mix of two equally important elements. Silk, an aesthetic style inspired by Asian Pacific mythology, history, and culture. And a punk-like tendency to question, deconstruct, and rebel. So that's up my alley because I love badass woman like i just love a badass heroine so bad like so bad this is sci-fi and fantasy and also teens nya yeah i haven't started it yet and i'm really excited i just had to get that out let y'all know introduce the video yeah so i'm gonna be reading it i do already have it on my kindle and i'm hoping i like this this is also a debut author i don't think i mentioned it but this is her first book in the this is a series or this is the first book in a series and also just to put it out there i am like a first series first book in a series type of girl like i i eat up the first books usually because it has so much information usually some people feel like it's dumpy but i love the setup and like learning new things this is called the fall of the dragon series it's the first book i don't know if it's going to be a trilogy or duology or a multiple book series but i'm here for it let's get into it y'all i have had this phone for like three years i don't know why i just now found the cinematic thing on my camera because this is definitely like filming on my back camera so i think i'm gonna start doing this i don't know i, I love the blurred background it's giving dslr yeah okay so i am on like seven or eight percent of the book i did the intro last night and i was about to read and then i just watched youtube and tiktok and i went to sleep so i really started it on june 1st today's june 1st and so far we're following i really don't know how to say her name you know um in some asian languages their last name is first i think it's i he it's like a i h u i i way something like i don't know and then her first name is ying ying is the second oldest but she's the oldest girl and their mother passed away like 10 years ago and their dad was their only person he was an engineer he was working on a lot of different like things as an engineer does and she has a lot of standards put on her like in the society they're just like okay oldest girl you need to step up and be the mama which like we've seen in a lot of other stories like this one but she wants to be wild and loose she don't want to she don't want to stick to what people expect from her she doesn't want to just be a docile girl she just wants to you know do what she gotta do her dad went to this engineers guild which i talked about kind of briefly whenever i talked about the book which is basically like they take in apprentices and then they become like basically the society of engineers i'm assuming so her dad was in it and he became like a well-known like he's like he became the chief ten of their like clan or whatever like their area and she's always wanted to go but it's only a male only thing so like that's where like a part of the mulan things come come in and also because she's just not like other girls for real and like not in an annoying way but she's just not in society they try to make women like more domesticated i want to say i really don't know that much about it because we're only in ying's point of view and we're not really made to know more about other people's households so far i don't know i'm only on chapter three so i don't know everything but she ain't going for it and she's trying to figure out her escape obviously there's gonna be some kind of betrayal because she's trying to avenge her dad and you know figure out who the did this so she can do stuff i'm trying to figure out why because she literally says she doesn't have any combat training like she only uses like this fan that can push out some darts or whatever but okay baby girl what are you well, what is that gonna do like you couldn't get him whenever you saw him so how you think you're gonna get him and there is like a little bit of um politics being introduced that i'm like i'm lost i'm not gonna lie because there's just a bunch of names being thrown around right now and there are enemy uh, empires and stuff like that which like i don't know the significance of yet but we will and yeah i'm liking this i like how amber chin is writing it's like detailed but not too detailed and like i've been having a really bad problem recently with reading books that are like way too detailed like i love to be put somewhere and have things explained and like i do like sometimes a little lyrical pretty writing but when it becomes way too much i get like so i'm about to start skimming and skipping because i i don't care tell me what you need to tell me move around that's how i feel and amber chan is doing a good balance of telling me what i need to know and then moving on but also in a pretty way so loving that okay one of my alarms went off because i have to go to work in a little bit 
well in the next few hours i don't know if it's just me but like when y'all have to do stuff before like if y'all have work or like school or something that you have to like be there at a certain time do you ever feel like you don't have any time before then this has been like my, my whole entire life whenever i have time to do something before i have to be somewhere i just feel like i don't have any time i'm like, okay five more hours until then three more hours two more hours and i'm just like anxious and i don't want to do anything really until i have to do the thing i don't know i think that's something to do with this but anyway my alarm cut me off so i don't even know really what i was saying but i'm really liking the writing oh yeah i was saying that i love ying but like i don't really love her because i don't know her yet let's slow down on the attachment she cool i like how she's just not standing for the bullshit and she's figuring out what's going on um she had a really strong relationship with her dad he's like the only one that really like understood her and this is really important to her so i'm supporting her i just really am scared that she's going to be put into a really dangerous situation because if it's a male only thing and you have to disguise yourself to to acclimate to this thing there's always someone that knows or at some point someone's gonna figure it out like especially if this is following mulan a little bit some somewhere down the road she's gonna be found out and it could be really scary for her and this is only the first book so i i assume she's gonna live we might lose some other people but i assume she will live but yeah that's really all i have to say i'm gonna read some more i'll try to other child maybe like at 30 percent. i like it so far amber chen you're doing it this is a debut author debut book and i'm here for it Hey y'all, I have not updated y'all in a long time because I haven't read in a well, long time, four days to seven. I don't know, really, I don't know. But I'm on 16% now. If you watch Mulan, I forgot the guy's name, but like, you know, uh, Shang's like little person that his dad made him stick, stick around with with the mustache. He was just like a d***hole, like he was, he wasn't shit. This character has one and I don't, honestly, I know their names when I'm reading them, but he's like the Bale Eye. He's like High Commander's son, just like Shang. I don't know his name, but he's like one of the, there's many of these Bale Eyes in the different empires or whatever, um, but he's got one and this guy is so like rude these people are looking down on her right now because they just think that she looks like a peasant and i guess the high commander's son is gonna put a word in for her for the apprenticeship so obviously she's gonna have a target on her back because you think you're special i am worried hey y'all i haven't talked to y'all in a while i really haven't been reading of jade and dragons for a while i done got to like the two week mark and it's not even that it's not interesting i just don't feel like reading it right now but i feel like because it's an arc and i'm trying to keep my net gallery ratio like good because i only have only read one arc before i fear i need to finish this my kindle is telling me i have four hours left i'm on 36 percent, chapter 10 right now she's about to go into the trial part of the whole thing it hasn't begun yet like it's just been really like a lot of like politics and just like her trying to figure out who murdered her father but there's a little forbidden romance slow burning right now forbidden in the sense that it shouldn't be happening for real because of like the status of people and shit like that but it should be happening what else also she's like figuring all these things out about her dad like her dad he would tell her all that he could about the engineers guild but some of the stuff was only privy to the people that have experienced it so like she's learning she's learning tea about her dad she's like I didn't know he was that kind of person and not in a bad way but like she's seeing like people really respect the hell out of him and he's really that guy and also he had enemies too okay are you an op are you an op are you an op like she's trying to figure it out but she's also trying not to be like acting like she's clueless because as a son she should know more about this because a father would probably tell their son everything about what they're going through in society no not her but um yeah it's good she's got enemies already i'm scared for her honestly i really am because she can't fight She's not strong physically, so she's really only got her brains going for her right now. But she's very smart. She's a good engineer, so I, I, I believe in her. I feel like she's gonna have to stay in the middle for a while, and then when it gets like down to like crunch time, she's gonna have to really pop out and show. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I will see y'all tomorrow with an update, and hopefully, I'll be done. <laughs> hey y'all, I am on 50% now. Last night I went to sleep, I was like 35, so I'm kind of putting in work. Only because I'm really determined to finish it today. According to my Kindle, I now have three hours left. I read for, I guess, an hour today. We haven't really made a lot of headway into her investigation, but I forgot the last thing I said too. Like, I'm definitely scared for her safety. She's made enemies. Um, she's had a second attempt on her life. So, and then just now, the boys brought her to a brothel. And sorry, that's bold something for you. But it kind of reminded me of whenever I read the David Bod trilogy when Ali was going to hang out with his brother. I forgot the brother's name. Sorry to you, King. But yeah, it reminded me of that because she's like really uncomfortable and she's like, this is not my vibe. This is not my vibe. What the hell? So I'm trying to see how she's going to play this off because they already question her because she don't be like around them when they be like taking showers and stuff. And she seems like she's missing when things happen. And they're like, where do you go? Like, what the what are you what are you into certain people look down at her because of who her father was which is weird because he's a very important person in this whole engineering like airship that helped with their military and it's getting political again which i'm it's kind of like 
I'm just ready to see who killed her dad, but like, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think I'm gonna know. I forgot this is the first book in a series, it's not a standalone. I forgot that, and I fear I'm not gonna get the answers that I'm looking for. Hey yo, I'm now on 76% and we getting down to the wire. I wrote some notes while I was reading it. So around chapter 16, which was 50, five percent or whatever there was like previously a random person just got thrown into the mix and i was like okay how are they going to become irrelevant how are they going to become relevant and they become someone really important so i was like what is their role and like how does that work because they were not mentioned until like 50 percent 45 percent maybe you find out them and they might have like a more crucial role that i don't even know about yet because they might have known her dad so i'm like oh what's the tea clock that tea clock that tea so then 65 percent what worked for me so far at that point was the relationships that she found like her brotherhood with uh yaekon and chon chongin chongin and also like the forbidden romance because we got something y'all we got something and i don't want to say anything well do i want to say something hold on <laughs> oh basically the person was like oh if i conquer the world will you be at my side if you're as fine as shang is in mulan you don't have to worry about that. Okay, I don't care. Because in this society, they have like a bunch of mistresses and like multiple wives. I'll be the top wife. Yeah, I'll have some sisters. For you, anything. Also, I really liked how like each trial is explained and we experience it with her from beginning to the end. I will say, now that I'm in a good pace, it's reading really well, but I feel like this could have been knocked down a little bit page length wise. Um, it is 480 and uh, yeah, that's a lot. And I'm, I started really liking Ying, which is our main character, because like her morality and her, her beliefs and everything like that. And just like the path that she's on right now, I was I was vibing. But then she said something to one of her closest friends and I was like, girl, you tweaking, tweaking. So I'm kind of like, Ying, you know, like one of those like, damn it, Ying. But it's an hour and 20 minutes left I have. So I don't know, the heat is getting turned on. One of her family members is about to come to like this capital or whatever, which like people keep calling them backwater or whatever. Like they're like, they're commoners basically compared to all the other clans. Like they're usually like withdrawn politically. Her family is finna pop up and she's like, ooh, I'm under disguise. They don't know. Please don't tell my business type shit, you know? But yeah, I'm scared. Hey y'all, guess who just finished the book two weeks later? So. I just finished it. It's 11.06 p.m. June 17th. It comes out in an hour. I don't really know how publication works. Like, I don't know if it comes out, like, at midnight or what. I've never, like, stayed up for a book. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna give y'all my rating real quick, and then I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it. And then we're gonna get the f*** on out of here. So, characters, I gave seven. Because I didn't really care that much about the main character until about 60-70%. And, like, I obviously was curious and wanted to know more about her journey, but I was just, like, really focused on other things everyone else they play their part that's all i gotta say atmosphere was an eight writing style was 7.25 only because it was like sometimes it was like okay get to the point only sometimes plot seven intrigue nine logic eight enjoyment eight and that came out to be 7.75 which is 4.25 stars so yeah for first book in the series i think that's really good yeah y'all there was like a lot of deceit and lies and betrayal very like emotionally tense like it was hopeful at some points and then like really dark at other points because like literally we're investigating her father's murder like this was everything that i could have hoped for i'm glad that i read it it did take me a while but i really feel like if i would have locked in and didn't try to read other books at the same time like i've just i've been in that mood where i'm just like everything sounds good right now and i don't know where what to read and what to start because i want every book to be like a banger um but that can't be the case all the time so yeah, I'm so happy to read this debut author. I hope y'all give her a chance. I enjoy myself, obviously. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.